him. He's yeah. eating like a mango or something. People are feeding them then. I told you they were feeding them here. It didn't make any sense that they just sat here. Ooh. <laughs> Thought about calling the gun Sandman. Sandman? Why? He puts you put me to sleep. sleep. <laughs> yeah, I know. Look, he's getting aggressive with you. He's doing that thing with his back. Oh! <laughs> Why are we going to do that? They get, they get aggressive and then they start arching their back. Air I'm rifle? About it, I'm like, I'm a vet tech and like, I do euthanasias, but at least I know that like, I'm helping the animal not suffer anymore. Right. I'm just saying, like, I understand it's an invasive species Good. and everything, but like, they don't hurt people, so like, I don't understand the need to kill these innocent animals. Then let me teach you. We have every intention of donating food to Haiti and other places, food being iguana meat that has been properly processed in an FDA-regulated facility. We're working towards it. just raining so right now we're gonna go meet up Jessica to finish up our last day at the job okay now it's really hot earlier rain hopefully cooled everything off these iguanas are out and about eating food pooping everywhere digging holes and just doing what iguanas do you know just kind of hanging out anyways these residents are pissed off at these lizards for eating all their landscape so it's up to me and Jessica to go over there teach them a fat lesson, put them in the bag. So we are at the job and this is the gun that we're gonna be using today. The Brocock Concept Light PCP air rifle. 10 clip magazine, we're gonna go ahead, fill her up with some air. Right. Spotted our first iguana. It's right there, he's a little green guy. Yeah, I see that. Wonder what kind of fish those are. Hmm, they're gone. The ear. Good shot placement. Perfect. You see that big guy over there, right? Oh yeah, yeah, you see? yeah, yeah. What do you think you should do? Let's let's throw him upside down so we don't lose him. Okay. You got you got you got ammo? Yeah, okay. Alright. He's eating, he's not worried about us. <laughs> One and done. One and done. That's it. There's two more up ahead. There's one at the bottom of the tree, and there's one in the shade behind that bush. Yo, great shot. Where'd you get him at? Oh, that's it. That's it. That's it. Let's go. I thought about calling the gun Sandman. Sandman? Why? You put me to sleep. sleep. <laughs> Sandman giving him the business. Those are two good ones. Where'd little guy go? He went up? I think so. Oh, he's right He's right at the base of the tree. Right to the right of him. Oh, that's it. He's toast. I'm out of pellets? You said Let yes. me see if I have one more shot. Okay. Hang on. Got him. You saw it? He fell yeah. off the tree. Yep. So, why don't you stay here? Because they won't move if you just stand here and look at them. Okay. And I'll run and go get pellets. I'll keep visuals. Okay. I guess she went to go get pellets. Right through. That's how you gotta do it. Go off road sometimes. Yeah, buddy. For water, huh? That was it. You got him. <laughs> Good shot. That's crazy, yo. Bullseye, literally. Yeah, it's coming out his other eyeball. Look. He shot both his eyes out. Not the ideal conditions. Oh my god. Iguana removal. Yes, ma'am. This is absolutely insane out here. That's all I gotta say. What? 
We're hired by the complex. We're just here to remove iguanas, yes, ma'am. But that's killing them, not removing them. Well, yeah. Kill, uh, killing them to remove them. Okay, the complex did that. Does that mean? Wow, that sucks. Yeah, you guys had a, a huge issue with the pond being eroded like a couple years ago, or last year actually. The iguanas dug up the whole entire pond, and uh, they're spreading like crazy over here. So we are removing them. Yeah, I know. So what happens when people have pets and they release them, they just breed breed out of control. It's sad, but we're being humane about it, ma'am. How's that humane? Just one shot, that's it, done. And whatever ones we do catch, where uh, any ones that are big enough, they'll be eaten for food. Ooh, by who? By people. People. They call it the, tri the chicken of the tree. Take care. I thought they feed them right here. Yep. I swear somebody in this building feeds iguanas for them to have them just I sitting right just here every time. There. Oh my God. Goodness. Every time. Oh, he's eating food. You see him? He's yeah. eating like a mango or something. People are feeding them then. I told you they were feeding them here. It didn't make any sense that they just sat here every time. And this is the only building people come running out. Just dropped them right there. Got more in the bag. Jessica, go and see if she can wrangle up the rest. If we can catch them live, we'd rather do that than using the gun. These guys right here are obviously really smart, so we gotta take them out with whatever force we have to use. Got this guy scoped in. Let's see if we can put him in the bag. Of course, the safety's on. Oh! Sleeper! That's it. And we got the second one right there. I don't think we filmed the second one, but no, it's all good. No, he's on the ground. Hey, the scope is definitely on point right here. Bushnell Always make sure. banner. Yep. Oh, it's a Bushnell banner? Bushnell banner. Beautiful. Can't remember the exact specs though. Wow, this is really cool, man. Uh, you want me to go grab these guys? Yeah, let's get them. All right. Okay, let's go retrieve the iguanas. Now, we thought we were filming, but we weren't on this guy. As you can see, he's pretty toast. We'll get him, fish him out. Oh, yeah. Guys, these PCP rifles is definitely where it's at for iguana hunting. This guy's toast, too. Look at that. It's just nothing. Beautiful. Loving the work with this rifle. It's really good. Comment down below if you think I should invest in one and what brand and what caliber and what specs you want to see. Ooh. Y'all got dogs out, so there's probably no iguanas over here. Hey, Fluffy. I didn't see any. Well, we'll go check on the other side. There's, there's less lately. Yeah. On to the next iguana. That's it, that's it. They moving right now, huh? Yeah. It's that, it's that time where- Yeah, there's a second one right there. Get that. And there's a third one down, there's a fourth one. At least about, it lasts about a sun before it's about to go down. It's that temperature thing, I think, the ambient temperature. Yup. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll come out with you. Remember the one for the water? <laughs> oh, that will hurt. Yeah, I know. Look, he's getting aggressive with you. He's doing that thing with his back. Oh! <laughs> Why do we going to do that? They get, they get aggressive and then they start arching their back. It's an animal on the daily. Oh. With I the air rifle? About it, I like, I'm a vet tech and like, I do euthanasias, but at least I know that like, I'm helping the animal not suffer anymore. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to be like, oh, I'm going to 
Right. Yeah, like, we're helping. An invasive species, are you gonna let me like, talk, or are you just gonna talk over? I mean, I'm just that. I'm just saying, like, I understand it's an invasive species Good. and everything, but like, they don't hurt people, so like, I don't understand the need to kill these innocent animals. Then let me teach you. Okay, so um, owls, the native owls, they run them out of their holes, and our endangered owls are becoming more and more endangered. There's a place for the iguanas. We could kill every iguana in South Florida, and there'd still be plenty in South America. But if we don't get rid of the iguanas in South Florida, the owls are suffering. They're directly contributing so to the Miami. Just, why just not catch them and send them back? Send them back? Mm -hmm. Are you going to foot that bill? I'm, just, I'm asking a question. Cause you, I'm asking you. How will we send them back? I'm I seriously, the logistically. Has plenty of money. I'm sorry? The government has plenty of money. The government? You think the government's going to pay to send I'm iguanas? They have plenty At, at, the, at this oh, point think, she doesn't really want to know she just wants to shame us or whatever yeah at, at this point no at, but at, you don't know what you're talking about if you want to have a conversation come talk about it see she just wants to shame and she doesn't want to learn at this point even though if we could do that right. it's just it's just the, the situation is too out of control right now she didn't like that she doesn't that she'd have to flip the bill what government agency is going to pay to send invasive species back and she didn't even let me finish even if we could send them back for free you had a millionaire that loves iguanas and wants to pay for private planes for iguanas you are not allowed to send them back because they now carry american diseases and parasites, parasites. that you would go and ruin their environment like they're ruining our environment so it'd be idiotic and um ignorant and just so wrong and and unthoughtful to bring iguanas back to where they were from not to mention these aren't the wild iguanas that came from venezuela and south america these are domesticated versions that were bred in people's homes for the past 50 years unfortunately even though that is a good idea and you know i can respect her her, her point of value on there but it's at this point it's just it's impossible there's no way there's no way there's no and way then, well a better question is why don't we take the iguanas and send them to these nonprofit organizations that do have money and can kill these iguanas and send them to Haiti so our Haitian children don't have to starve or send them over to other countries, other countries that need where they're food suffering. that they already have networks set up for bringing food over safely. They have the permits. They have the planes. We just give them the food. Well, we can't do that because the food has not been processed for human consumption. But we're working on it, and we have every intention of donating food to Haiti and other places, food being iguana meat that has been properly processed in an FDA-regulated facility. We're working towards it. That would be the ultimate end goal to uh, really, you know what I'm saying, justify the situation, eradication, and also feeding uh, people that can really use the food. Unfortunately, uh, this problem is is really out of control, and we we tried talking to the government to offer us aid, to offer us this, to offer us that, help us get on a bigger platform to spread education about what's going on over here. Unfortunately, I mean they just don't think it's serious and they think it's a joke. So that's why we're putting everything in our hands right now. We gotta build this up. We will, um, and uh, we're gonna see what what happens. That is crazy. That is crazy. So that's going to wrap up today's hunt. Boys and girls, you guys seen it right there. 19 iguanas. 18. Oh, you guys see it right there. 18 iguanas. Plus the 110. Plus the 110. So that is... 128 for 12 hours of removal. That averages to about... Just to about 10 iguanas an hour. One, I don't know. Why are you asking me math? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just trying to get a little technical here. 128 and 12. Oh, yeah, yeah. 10... 
10 per hour. 10 yeah. per hour. On average. That's right. That's, that's bad. That's good. What are you talking about? Good job. Good job. That means one every six minutes. Yeah. Get your ass. You're kicking butt, Jessica. Good Get your water. <laughs> In the bag. In the bag. If you guys enjoy the video, if you guys enjoy the video, of course, give it a huge thumbs up. Uh, if you're new to the channel, hit the red subscribe button. Also, uh, you guys can follow Jessica on Instagram. If you guys like this work that she does, make sure and go check her out. Iguana uh, Solutions. Iguana Solutions, all right? Or Iguana Snipers. Iguana Solutions or Iguana Snipers. We'll put both of the links in the description. Um, but yeah, you guys can check her out, follow her, uh, keep up to date with her day-to-day -day activities. Because Jessica, you basically do stuff like this every single day, every huh? Every single day, even the weekends. She is always working, she's always posting. And if you're really enjoying the sniper content that she's putting out, definitely go give our friend a follow, okay? Right there.